Would you like your food better if it were also food pornography? One study suggests yes. And I have problems with this study, but let's get into what it is. First of all, this appeared, forgive me, I do not have the printout, in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. And there was a study conducted on 2,000 subjects um, who were asked to photograph things yes. that they were experiencing uh, or not that half and half. And right. then they were sent on a few different segments beyond that, which was go do something enjoyable, like take a museum trip, a bus tour, a simulated safari, and a meal at Philadelphia's Reading Terminal Market, mm. among other activities. Sounds delicious. And, um, and then do unenjoyable things as well, right? That was a part of the study yes. too? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically they found that the people who were asked to do enjoyable activities and take a picture enjoyed them more. Yeah. So like they took a picture of their food or they took a picture of something cool happening uh, mm -hmm. on the museum trip and they seem seemingly experienced and reported uh, more enjoyable times. And there, there are reasons why this could happen. Uh, it, to me, I don't think there's a necessarily causative uh, connection between taking the picture and being happier. Okay. Though I could s understand kind of where this is coming from because you know when you're taking pictures of things, mm -hmm you kind of have them as a memory, right? You don't necessarily have to put them on social media or share the world or put your damn face in everything. Um, ooh, that is a side thing that just came out. Uh, <laughs> but it's just, I think when you, rem it's like ingraining it into your own memory. Absolutely, and I think that the, the part of the study that's a little bit, uh, maybe a little skewed, maybe a little interesting is that they told people that were on a museum trip mm -hmm. to take photos and then they told a, another group to not take photos. Mm -hmm. So I feel like of course the people that were told not to take photos had like a less enjoyable time because that's kind of the point of a museum trip, a museum trip as opposed to just taking a picture of your food and, and you know Instagramming it before you eat it. That's I think those are kind of two different things. I you think know what there's I mean? also something to be said about being told to take a photo because when you're told yeah. to take a photo you're like okay I'm gonna find the best things, I'm and I'm gonna photo. I'm gonna remember. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna take a good photo, mm -hmm. put something good in it that people will like, and that in turn will make you notice those things more and possibly sure. remember them more because you have a direct uh, evidence of this great memory you had. It's mm -hmm. it's right there. It's something tangible, even if it's digital, uh, yeah. of that moment that is probably forever lost in time. Which I think you know sometimes we forget about the beautiful and amazing things yeah. that we see in life, and then maybe a picture or a receipt mm -hmm. or some kind of tangible evidence reminds us of that and brings back those emotions right away. Absolutely. At it's least that, that's my hypothesis. It's that old saying that you have to stop and smell the roses. You know, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Uh, for me, most of the results of this study make complete sense, but just as a principle, I still don't Instagram my food because I find it obnoxious when people do that, just for my own self. But it, it does, there's a part of me that understands completely that when a person does that, they're so excited about mm -hmm. this food or about this experience or ah, whatever. So maybe it's the they, person. A, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And it, uh, it's something that even listening, even, even reading the results of this make me want to appreciate uh, everything else in my life, even if I'm not Instagramming it, just mm -hmm. a little bit more. So. I bet you I'm going to go and enjoy lunch later and it's going to be fantastic and I don't even have to take a picture of it. But just yeah. because I heard the results of that. <laughs> well, I mean, on the other hand, you, you touched a little bit when people saw something that was unenjoyable and mm -hmm. had to take a picture. Yes. They uh, also felt strongly, more strongly yeah. about those things they in a negative it. direction. Absolutely. So it's just like, I, oh, I hate this. Yeah, There's yeah. a dead animal. I don't, ugh, you mm -hmm. know, and you have that evidence again to remind you of those memories. Perhaps it's a memory amplifier. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it's, uh, you know, trying to find the best and worst will always lead to these results. Yeah. It, it, there's certainly a lot of different ways it could go. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if that necessarily means people who Instagram their food enjoy their food more. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe yeah. I'll take a picture of some sad lunches and dinners for my Instagram followers to detest and hate me for and unfollow me <laughs> about. Audience, do you take pictures of your life and do you feel that makes you enjoy it more? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.